let's take a look at the chat with your data end-to-end -end solution. These solutions implement a chatbot, but the whole idea of a chatbot is that this chatbot is not going to just speak with you using a large language model. You can provide your own set of documents that you are going to use to be part of the knowledge of the chatbot. So in the whole implementation of this, let's take a look at the chatbot. We can start and ask a question like an example. Hi, we're going to have a standard how can I assist you today? I can, we can ask a question, a more specific question, like an example. What healthcare benefits are part of the Norwin Health Plus? And this, the answer that we have is that, hey, we don't have information about this because Norwin Health seems to be a fictitious company, not a local one. So as part of the demo, we have two main applications, two front applications. One is the chat and the other is a document manager. We see that we, do, we don't have any documents here, but what we what we can do now is we can go and upload some documents, so upload the benefits of the document here. And once we upload the document, what is going to happen and we start to process the document, a couple of things are going to happen. First of all, we are going to see that the document is ready to be processed and we can start the process. The whole idea of the process of the document is that the document is going to be uploaded to a blob of storage, then is going to be analyzed and the markdown is going to be generated with the markdown. And then we are going to split the markdown and store the markdown in chunks into a vector database. In this scenario is Azure AI set. So we can go back to the benefit options and we can see here the benefit options and the question that we have. So if we go back to our chat with your data, and we ask again the question, we see that we have a different response right now where we can find some the Norwin Health Plus, the coverage, we have more information, and we can even get and take a look at the document, the source document where we have the information there. So a couple of things to, to notice here is that everything happened. There are a lot of services here. Remember, the process starts with two front ends, the ad application and the document manager. But then when we have a document, we use an external library. We use a Python library to generate the markdown. The Python library that we use is called Mark it Down. And in order to use this, what we have here is in the whole solution that is, once again, orchestrated with Aspire. We have a set of microservices, and one of the microservices service is going to generate the markdown and is going to call, depending if it's written in, in Windows or Linux, is going to call another service, which is called the CSnakes or the Bash API. The CSnakes use CSnakes, which is a, which is a library that allows us to create wrappers on top of Python. So in this scenario, we are going to have this Python code using the library, but we are going to have some .NET code that is going to call that is in that library to generate the markdown. So it's going to pick up the, the file, it's going to save the file in a temporary location, generate the markdown, and return the markdown with this. Otherwise, we can call directly to the Bash API. In order to generate the description of the document, what we have here is an endpoint that is using the GPT-40 to generate the description. Once we have the markdown, we can pick up the whole markdown and ask for a description. So what we have here in example, in the document library, we have a small description. And we can even do more things, like in example, if we want here in the document, we can upload different type of files. So I'm going to load a receipt, an image, and I'm going to load the markdown, uh, the Word document. So we can upload all of these documents. And in order to process each one of these, we are going to have different scenarios. So in example, to process the image, we are going to automatically, we are going to use the image, analyze with the GPT-40 model, and the GPT-40 model is going to get the text from the image and is going to save this into the, the database. The same with the mark, with the document, with the with the Word document, this is a big document. It's going to generate nine chunks. We have bigger ones, but we're going to have all of the info here. Once we have this, we can go back to the chat and ask questions, an example, about camping products.
So in scenario, when we are planning a camping getaway and more, because we upload a markdown with information about camping products, we can see here that we have a camping stove, a water waterproof trench, a sleeping bag, and more with the info that we have in the markdown. All of this, of course, is managed and it's track with Aspire. We can get the traces here and we can start to see if we go to the structural traces. And we take a look here as the views of this. Let's find one that is related to the search. We are going to see here that we have all of the infos, we have the SQL server and more. And if we filter by the uh, the vector store, we can see here all of the search that is doing the vector store in order to work with this. So it's kind of amazing. Right now it's running the products, indexing the, the document and more. If we take a look at this at the Azure deploy level, because the whole repository includes the all the necessary information, everything that you need to deploy to Azure, you just need to fork and clone the repo and then you can deploy. You will see also that here in the application insights, if we take a look at the map, and we order the layout. We are going to see that this one is a big map where we can have a couple of front end, but it's all told together with the different services that we have here. So this is an interesting one to start to take a look how it works. So take a look at the chat with your data scenario. It's an end-to-end -end solution that shows you how you can create your own chatbot that is interacting with a large language model, but at the same time can get information in this scenario using Azure AI search from a set of documents that are stored in a blob storage and the information is also centralized in a SQL Server database.